Hello everyone and welcome back to Unite Coaching. You must have seen that many times students are not studying from the books. They no longer have the mentality to use different types of books in the engineering. Especially I am talking about engineering. Huh? Uh, the trend of reading the books is no longer there. What they do? They just read it from the online, the internet stuff. Understand the concepts, various concepts just by watching the YouTube videos. I am not saying that is wrong. But... The mentality of reading the books, the actual books, the reference books is no longer there. What they do? They just watch a small short video, take that concept and go on. They don't have the mentality to read the books. And even if they are referring the books, they will refer the local uh, reference books like Techno or Techmax or Techno something. I don't know what. But they don't follow the proper authors genuine authors they follow the local authors there are so many mistakes the references are not properly cited so all these wrong concepts or these wrong practices are going on nowadays in the students and even the working professionals also and so why i am making this video see you may have heard many times that many people became successful many pe became many people became intelligent by reading good books and perhaps I don't think that there is a good source which uh, you can get for increasing your knowledge. So all the concepts are clear from your books. The better you refer, the better engineer you will become. So what we will do in this video, we will be looking 10 such books which a civil engineer must keep with him or her. I'm not saying that these books are very 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 good yes they are very good but they must be with you why i'm saying this and no matter if you are doing currently on a job if you are a student if you have uh, passed your engineering past 10 years ago or you are just in your first year of engineering civil engineering these books are very much beneficial you just keep on reading it again and again you will your practical Concepts will be clear, your practical knowledge will increase, you will understand so many things and you, are, you will become an engineer which other wants, the companies wants. I have also mentioned the links of those books in the description, you can go and check. So let's start with the video. See, the first book that I have mentioned is A to Z Practical Building Construction Book and its Management. It is written by Sandeep Mantri and when you open it, na, when you read it, you will understand how every small concept related to the practical building construction is explained in it. Practical site knowledge is easily explained in this book. Then uh, various construction processes are explained. So it is very, very, very good from practical point of view and you must have this book. Now the second book, see. Illustrated design of reinforced concrete building. See, in this, the design of G plus 3 building is given. And not even just the normal design. Design of building for the earthquake loads. Design of building for the wind loads. And practically how a building is designed. How manual step-by-step -step procedure is carried out for designing the building. That is mentioned in this particular book. And perhaps, uh, I don't think that no such books are there. Uh, which are giving much detail about designing a building May means if you are a very new in this market of design you will be easily understanding this concepts designing the building so this is very must book there is another book second book reinforced concrete structure designed by Subramanian building design is very well explained in this book also you can refer either See, then comes the book of estimating costing that mm, you must have. Why I am saying this? Because in this book, they have told you how to do the carry out the detailed estimation. Then how to make the BBS of BBS means bar bending schedule. Then how to carry out the rate analysis of the buildings. How to do the valuation of a building. What is the specification? What is rate analysis? All these things are given in this book. So you can refer this book. See, both books are good for from the both authors. You can refer either one. Then, for the steel design. See, if you want to make a good career in steel design, 
then there are so many books but what i will recommend what we will recommend you uh, the limit state method design by s k duggal or you can also refer subramanian both books are good you can buy any one i have also mentioned the links in the description of this video you can check that also uh so what do you have to do you can also click on that link and you can check the index of that book you can check the uh, comments of the other person whether they have referred the book whether they have liked that book or not so these are 10 books that every civilizer must have let's see the next book see earthquake resistant design of structures so what this book is all about this book provides a detailed guidance on design of earthquake resistant buildings as you can see uh, many times in the market you you may have noticed that the number of floors are getting increased day by day construction of high rise buildings are carried out they are going ongoing but still you may have seen that many engineers do not know how to design earthquake resistant buildings so this is the best book for your guidance to make a structure an earthquake resistant then there is another book which may have you may have heard lot of time concrete technology by ms shetty it is means it is very common book that i i don't think that a civil engineer may not have read this book or may not have heard about this at least heard about this book it is very good about uh, this book is very good about concrete cement materials admixtures concrete mix design all these things are given in this book and from market point of view this book is available from so many years you can check the latest version uh, i have given you the description uh, in the description the link and there are no not many revisions in this book you can refer to the old one also if you have but the latest one will be preferred one okay then the next book if your basics of the structure are not very clear then you will not be interested in the structural design you may have seen that you are not interested in structural design you don't find those calculations very interesting they are tedious ones they are lengthy ones you are not interested in that you find it boring so for that if you refer strength of material book by subramanian that's a very good book if you want to clear the concept of structural analysis specially okay so that that i will also recommend this book then comes the engineering mechanics see i have mentioned two authors here means two different books here you can refer both of them or you can buy either one one's from the ak katyal and hibbler book you can uh, refer either of this both are very good huh? from statics to dynamics they have given both the things in this it is basically structural analysis book okay now the last but not the least book soil mechanics and foundation engineering as you are aware that the every structure rest on the foundation and it is very important that you must study the foundation engineering in detail the type of soil that you have how it will behave under various types of loading what is the bearing capacity of soil how that particular soil will behave after the construction whether it will settle whether it is whether it will consolidate what will be the strength of that soil whether it will be capable of resisting that particular structure's load or not so all these concepts you must be aware about and this book gives you the best solution and it is very must book that you have soil mechanics and foundation engineering by this author so this is the last book that i have mentioned here so these are all 10 books such books that you must keep and keep on reading don't just keep it with yourself no matter if you are a engineering student if you have passed out your engineering if you are a senior engineer you are just in the first year of your engineering you must keep this books why i am saying this because they your knowledge will be refreshed again and again if you keep on reading this books or if you can have this books so that if you got stuck in any of the practical things you just check the index which is given on the back side or on the front side you just go to that particular thing you just read out and your concept will be revised and refreshed and flourished so you can check the description of every book that i have mentioned in this video go check that and if you have liked this video then click on like 
and share this video with all your civil engineering friends and if you like our channel please do subscribe to our channel thank you thank you so much